Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Let's just get down to it. W- welcome to Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Real life stories of inspiration, perseverance, and prosperity. Turn your radio up as loud as possible. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. I hope you have your teacups ready because she has the sugar. Nothing like a cup of brown sugar to sweeten my day. Now let's enjoy some Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Welcome to this week's episode of Sweet Tea with Coach Key. I know that it has been some time. I actually took some time off in the month of July and I have not been recording since then. So this is my first podcast episode since July and I'm really, really excited to be back. Um, This particular episode, I want to talk about, I'm reading this book and it is just blowing my mind. I, I'm actually blowing through it. And I'm thinking I need to slow down because it's just filled with so much goodness, right? But one of the things that stuck out to me yesterday while reading was the fact that we have a difficult time deciphering our thoughts with temptation. And what this means is sometimes, well, all the time, when you're experiencing a breakdown or having negative thoughts, the thoughts will come to you from the enemy and he'll speak to you and say, I. So it's not you feel sick, you are sick, you're dumb, you're unworthy, it is I am. He'll speak to you and say, I am. So that you'll begin to think that these are your thoughts and that you are feeling this way and you think this about yourself. And I thought that that was extremely mind blowing. I have never, ever heard that a day before in my life. And I wanted to make sure that I shared that with you because another point that was in the book that blew my mind was that the enemy is not our biggest um, adversity as believers. It's ignorance, the not knowing, the unknowing. And that was also pivotal to me to get a better understanding of what is going on in the spiritual realm, what the Lord would have me see, what he wants to reveal, what I've been missing, you know, what I've matured enough to receive. I want to know, you know, and I, I consider that to be a priority at this point in my life. I want to be able to commune with the Lord, even when he's not speaking, even when I don't hear audible, audible voice, but to know and decipher what is the Holy Spirit and what is not. Um, and I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to pray that you um, sort of chew on that for a while and just be cognizant of those thoughts I'm depressed. I'm this. I'm that. No, you feel sad, you know, Um, but you are not that. Um, Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to leave it there and pray that you are cognizant of those thoughts and you speak back to the enemy when he's trying to speak these things to you and deceive you into believing that you're anything other than what the Bible, what the Lord says you are. All right. All right, we can stay connected um, by, you know, Instagram. That's that's my primary platform at this time. Um, Keisha Austin, K-E-S-H-A-A-U-S-T-I-N underscore on Instagram. Um, Keisha Austin also on Facebook and YouTube. Oh, it's Coach Keisha Austin on YouTube. I hope that you have a wonderful remainder of your week and take care.